Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder with another Reddit story for you. This one comes from AITA and is titled, Am I the astronaut to not want to hijack my brother-in-law's honeymoon alongside my wife? I, 28 male, have been married to my wife, 27 female, for two years now. Financially, we've been both struggling a bit in the past years, but our situation is mostly fine now. Even though we still live a relatively modest life, and we can't afford to casually go to expensive trips in other countries. Even our honeymoon was only a trip to a beach from our country where we've already been, and even that cost quite a bit. My wife's older brother, 33 male, is definitely much wealthier than we are and is known for spoiling his fiancée, 30 female, with gifts and expensive trips. My wife definitely commented a couple of times on it, and I could feel that she was secretly jealous about it. She and her brother are definitely very close to each other, and he helped us quite a bit during the times we were struggling financially, and he even allowed her to be a bridesmaid at his wedding, even though my wife and brother-in-law's fiancé aren't really close. Yesterday, my brother-in-law announced in front of their family that he wants to reward his sister for putting so much effort into planning his wedding by full-on paying for both of us to go together with him and his fiancée on their honeymoon in Paris for a full week. Before I could say anything, my wife immediately accepted it and hugged her brother. But then his fiancée started going at him about inviting us to their honeymoon without discussing it with her beforehand, and my brother-in-law defended himself by saying he just wanted to help his sister experience something that she can't do on her own. We need this. They were arguing when my wife suddenly intervened and told his brother's fiancée to stop acting like such an entitled brat because not everyone's as lucky as she is to have a wealthy enough partner to support them. Brother-in-law's fiancée started yelling at my wife about how she's just a leech to her brother who took over her wedding and now wants to invade her honeymoon too. I eventually got my wife out of there, and on the way on the way out, I told her that maybe it'd be better for us to refuse going on my brother-in-law's honeymoon as his fiancée is clearly uncomfortable with it. She asked me if I was an idiot for wanting to pass up a trip to Paris for free, that she worked way too hard to convince her brother to invite us for her to back up from it now. She convinced him it wasn't a gift? I told her that maybe she can arrange something else for us, and I don't want to be the reason a marriage fell, falls apart. But my wife told me their marriage is not our business, but theirs. And if it fall apart, it'd only be because my brother-in-law's fiance, it's her fault. I told my wife I want no part of this, and I won't be going on this shared honeymoon. And she started arguing with me about how she can't believe I'd act this way when she only did this for us and said that she'll take her brother's offer without me if she has to. We ended up sleeping in different beds, and even today, my wife is still giving me the cold shoulder. So am I the astronaut for my refusal? No, you are not. But I hate to tell you this, sir. <laughs> You're... Your wife's an asshole, not just a little one, not just not just like casually rude. Your wife is a bizzo. Your wife is terrible. Your wife is already destroying a marriage and gives zero shits about it. All her <laughs> her only goal here is to make this wedding happen so she can go on the honeymoon. Actually, I take that back. If the honeymoon trip is already booked, it may now be her mission to destroy the wedding so that it doesn't happen. So she can go to Paris with her brother without his bride. And here again, I think we have emotional incest. We have we have some serious issues here. And and you're already married into it, OP. You're in a shittier spot than the fiance here, who we're pretty sure wrote in a story too that we just read. Where she's she's threatening to cancel the wedding. I, this the wedding is probably not going to happen. That trip probably still is. And your your wife gives zero shits about her brother's happiness, or maybe she cares too much about it. But she just wants the trip and convinced him to pull off this stunt and not tell his bride to be to say it in front of everybody so that she had no choice but to accept it or look like an asshole. She's a terrible, terrible piece of shit. You're f***ed. This is the beginning of <laughs> winter's coming. It's at your doorstep, sir. It's about to get very grim. And you're. this is not going to be the worst thing that you have to make decisions in. This is not going to be the worst thing that happens where you're like, should I stay married to this woman? She does not care. She's willing to go without you. She will leave you behind here. And I don't know what your relationship is like otherwise, but this is this is a pivotal moment that you have to think about what changes from here on out?
She's terrible. She's an ass con one. She's a DFHB rejection. I, I, I don't. You got problems. You got problems. <laughs> Coulda, shoulda, woulda. I never get the ick, but the last two stories, ick. <laughs> we need an ick button now. We need an ick button. Ah.